morning class. This is Mrs. Matos. How are you doing today? Hey, I hope you're doing really well today. Um, today is Monday, April 6, 2020. We're going to go over our math lesson 127. Okay, lesson 127. I will need you to go ahead and complete your speed drill. You can do it on your own time. You only have one minute to do it by. You're going to do number two, the one that has, actually, sorry, you have two minutes to complete it. Okay, so with the little flowers, lesson 127, okay? So go ahead and complete that. Uh, you can pause the video and then come back to watch the lesson, or you can do it after the video, okay? Lesson 127, we're going to talk about, what I want you to do is practice counting by fives, okay? from five to 100. Are you guys ready? Stand up. Okay, stand up. We're gonna count together, but what I want you to do is go ahead and hop like we do in class. You guys ready to hop? Raise your hand if you're ready. I'll let you guys do it. I'm sure you're gonna do it. So you're gonna count by fives. So let's start on three, two, one, okay? Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. Give yourselves a round of applause. Good job for hopping. Okay, you can go back to your seat. Make sure you have a paper, pencil, and eraser ready to go today. If you don't have it, you may pause it and go grab one. Or if you have a whiteboard, like the ones that we had in class, you may go ahead and have that ready with your marker and eraser, okay? So we need to tell, we're practicing counting by fives. Now we need to count by ones from 101 to 200, okay guys? Let's see, hopefully you guys can see the numbers. You guys probably already know them by memory anyways. So um, go ahead and stand up. You can just shout your numbers, okay? Ready? On three, two, one. 101, 102, 103, 104, 105, 106, 107, 108, 109, 110. Okay, you can take a deep breath and let it out. Good job. Let's go, keep on going. 111, 112, 113, 114, 115, 116, 117, 118, 119, 120. Okay, good job. Next row. 121, 122, 123, 124, 125, 126, 127, 128, 129, 130. You can take a deep breath and let it out. I know it's tiring, right? But we got this, right? Next row, 131, 132, 133, 134, 135, 136, 137, 138, 139, 140. Good job, guys. Let's go to the next row. 141, 142, 143, 144, 145, 146, 147, 148, 149, 150. You can stop, take a deep breath, and let it out. 151, 152, 153, 154, 155, 156, 157, 158, 159, 160. Good job. 161, 162, 163, 164, 165, 166, 167, 168, 169, 170. Okay, we're almost done, guys. Keep on going, okay? 171, 172, 173, 174, 175, 176, 177, 178, 179, 180. Okay, two more rows and we're almost done, guys. Good job. 181, 182, 183, 184, 185, 186, 187, 188, 189, I'm sorry, and 190. We're almost done. 
Ready? 191, 192, 100, 193, 194, 195, 196, 197, 198, 199. Drum roll, please. 200. Good job, guys. Tap yourselves in the back and save. You're awesome. Yes, you are. Okay. So we've practiced counting. We got to go over greatest and least order. Okay, so I'm giving you three numbers. If you want to write those down on your paper, make sure to do that right now. We have number 22, 45, and 19. So we're going, this is a quick review of writing these numbers and rewriting them in the correct order order according to which one is the least and to greatest, okay? So the first number, remember guys, when we're doing the comparison of three numbers, we have to remember our place value, okay? So we're going to look at the numbers that are in the ones place, right? And then the tens place. Okay, the, sh the least number is number 19. So if you didn't have it written down, make sure to do it now. We're doing it together. Okay, so number 19 will be your first choice. The second number that is in the middle is number 22. Okay, just bear with me with my numbers, please, guys, with these boards. Okay, number 45 will be the greatest, which is the last number that we write down. Good job. If you guys got all of these correct, give yourself a smiley. Okay, for the boys, if you want to make a little hat, or girls, if you want to make a little bow, you can do that. All right, good job. Next numbers. The next three numbers that we're going to compare are 119, 109, and 129. Okay, so let's look at our numbers. Look at the first number, which is uh, ones place if you guys notice all of these numbers have sorry guys all of these numbers have the same number nine nine and nine so when you find that that's the case what you need to do is you need to go to your next place value which is your so this is your ones place right guys then your tens so go to the next numbers and compare them all right you have two nine and a one sorry you have a two a zero and a one what is our smallest number out of those three okay if you had the zero you're correct so we know that this is going to go first. We have, if you look at, so this is a ones place, repeat after me, ones, tens, hundreds place. If you guys are looking at your hundreds place, they all have a one, ones place, tens, and hundreds place. They all have a one. So your first number is going to be number, what do you think? Say it out loud. 109 is correct. Okay, go ahead and write it down if you haven't done so already. 109. Your next number is 119. And your last one is 129. If you guys have it correct, go ahead and give yourself a tap on the back and say you're awesome. Okay, because you are. If you got them wrong, Make sure that you have written them out the correct way in the correct order from least to greatest. And you also need to tap yourself in the back and say, because you are awesome, right? Good job in trying. Now the last set of numbers that we have are 76, 
57 and 66. These are only two digit numbers, okay? So when we say digits, it just means numbers. It's another word for numbers. It's, so there's two numbers in each one. Okay, we're still looking at our place value. We're comparing. We have a six in the ones place. We have a seven and we have a six again. You go to your tens place and compare that. You have a six, a five, and a seven. So what number do you think is going to go first? Think, think, think. Put your thinking caps on if you haven't put it on already. Okay, the first number is going to be 57. All right, the next number is 66. And your last number is 76. Have you got a correct? Give yourself a star. All right, good job. All right, so we need to go over adding three amounts. Okay, adding three amounts. So let me get my eraser. Let me erase these, this information so that you guys can see. So let me erase that right now. Okay. Sorry. Sorry, my eraser's over. All right, so we need to talk about, let me go ahead and erase this, because you're ready. We need to talk about adding three amounts. So I'm giving you three numbers. There are two digits each, okay? Three numbers, go ahead and write these down. The first number I give you is 21. Sorry, the angle's a little off. I'm sorry, I'm trying my best. 21, 37, and 40. We are adding. The first thing that we always do in class that we've talked about is what? Think, 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 thinking cap on again. Do you guys remember? What do you have to do first? We have to split that, right? When we do that split, it helps us focus on the one side that we have to focus on first. And just a reminder, guys, when you guys are working these problems out, you always work your one's place. Then you do your tens place and however many place, places you have, all right? Okay, class, what is one plus seven? One plus seven is eight, okay? What is eight plus zero? It's still eight, right? Eight plus zero is still eight, so you bring that down. All right, what is two plus three, class? Two plus three is five. What is five plus four? Okay, so five plus four is nine. If you guys got this answer correct, you can give yourself another smiley. All right, mine has bangs. Like Mrs. Matos, right? Mine has a little bow. However you wanna do your smiley. All right, good job. Let's go to the next problem. 
Okay, we have 54. We have 23 and 11. Let's go ahead and add those. The first thing that we do there is also do our split. What is four plus three? Four plus three is seven, right? Seven plus one is eight. Okay, what is five plus two class? Five plus two is seven. Okay, seven plus one is eight. Good job. If you got it correct, give yourself a star. If you got it wrong, make sure to follow the step. You can rewind this video and rewatch it to make sure you're following all the steps you have to follow to derive to the correct answer, okay guys? If you got it wrong, give yourself a star because you guys are still awesome and I'm proud of you, right? In this class, everybody tries and everybody gives me their best. So if it's wrong, I'm happy. It's okay. It's okay to have it wrong as long as we fix it, right guys? So if you have a question, you're not sure, rewind this video, watch it again as many times as you need to understand what we're doing right now. Okay guys, good job. So we've talked about, we've practiced counting. We've uh, practiced place value, putting three numbers in the correct place according from, from least to greatest, right? So we practice that as well. And this is adding three amounts. Okay, now let me go ahead and erase this. So I do need your guys' patience. I appreciate your patience with me as we're moving along and trying our best to get all of these videos nice and perfect for you guys, right? So bear with me. I need to turn this around so that we can look at what we're going to work on next. We're going to go over fractions. Repeat after me, fractions. Fractions. Okay, good job. I'm going to switch this around. I need your patience so that we know what we're doing here. All right, guys. Good job. Thank you for your patience. Awesome. There we are. Okay. So we're talking about fractions. Go ahead and write, draw three circles. Okay. They don't have to be large as long as they fit in your paper or on your board. Make them three beside each other, okay? So you shouldn't have one here, here, and here. Not vertical, we're going horizontal this way, okay? So we're gonna talk about one half. Maybe you guys remember what this means, or maybe not. So we're going to go over what that means just in case you don't remember. So what I need you to do is for the first one, go ahead and color in only one half of this circle, okay guys? Only one half, okay? Try your best. So we've talked about when you guys have a pizza, right? Who likes pizza here? Raise your hand. So when you guys have a pizza and you say, I want half of that pizza, we're going to make sure that one half is exactly the same amount in both sides. So you're going to cut it in the middle one time, which should give you two sides. So make one cut, right? And this should give you two sides. Sorry, if it's not even, I apologize. I'm angled a little uh, different, weird, I'm sorry. So it should be perfectly in the center, but we only have to have one out of two sides colored. When we're talking about fractions, that's the way that you should think about. It's just one out of the two sides, okay? So if it's not 
perfectly straight. You can make it, make it perfect right now. Go ahead and shade it in if you haven't done so already. We only need one half. Try your best. All right, good job. Nice. Okay, now we need to divide the circle in one third. Okay, one third. Again, we only need one out of three now. So we need three even pieces of this circle, okay? I will try, oh, sorry. I will try my best to make it as even as possible. Ah, sorry. Please don't get mad at me. So if I would be doing it facing a little more straight that I'm not, it should be three even pieces, but we only need one side to be, let me do this again. I don't like this one. Try again, Mrs. Matos. Still a little crooked for me to write, so I apologize for that. So only one should be colored. You can color it in right now. You guys are all such amazing artists, so I'm sure yours looks better than mine. All right, so once again, is one out of three pieces, right? This is one out of two. The last one is one out of four. So we need to make this, cut it into four pieces, okay? Now it's really gonna look like a pizza, right? Okay. So we see, you see, we have the four pieces. We only need to shade one, okay? You may do that right now. Okay. The last thing that we're going to go over is telling time. I'm not sure if you can see my beautiful little drawing over here. And if not, I'm gonna move it a little bit so that you can. So just bear with me because I would like for you guys to just copy this. I have a flower in the flower. I set up like a clock. It's really cool. So I want you to, you can maybe you can pause this video and color it yourself. Um, and you're gonna write in all of the all of the minutes in each one of the petals, okay? I'm not sure if you can see it from there. I hope you can, but if not, let me adjust it a little bit, okay, guys? So I'm just going to show you really quick. So you have the little, it's a flower. You may color your flower whatever color you want. Your flower should have 12 petals. And then a short leaf and a long one. And color it. And, it, and then it's just fun, it's really cool. Now, a quick review, the short arm tells us the hour, okay? And then the long arm tells us the minutes. So I do have a clock right here next to us and the other side. 
So I'm gonna move you guys over so you can see even better than what we can see already. All right. Okay. All right, so when you're looking at your clock, you're looking at the red hand is your small arm, the short arm, okay? So the short arm is telling you the hour. The long arm, the blue one, is telling you the minutes. So if you guys look at the time right now, what time is it? I'll give you a few seconds to write it down on your board or on your paper. I'm just going to go over a couple of times. Okay, you guys ready? All right guys, so the short arm is telling us the hour. So if you guys are looking at the red little arm, it's pointing at what number? Think, think, think. So it's pointing at the number 10. Everybody say 10. So the hour is 10. And just a reminder, when we're looking at the minute hand, which is the longest one, we're counting by fives. Everybody show me five fingers. So we're counting by fives. So let's count together all around our clock to remember just a quick brief review of how we should be telling time. When your clock is pointing at the 12, it, we start at zero, right guys? So zero, zero o'clock, zero, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, okay? So if it's pointing at the long, the long arm is pointing at the two, it's 10, 10. How do you write that? I'll write it here. 10, dot, dot, 10. Let me move this clock around. I pray it doesn't fall. <laughs> So let me move it around and I'll give you a new time. And as soon as you're ready, you may go ahead and write your time. So give you a spot here for you to have it ready, okay? Okay, you guys ready? We've talked about how whenever the hour hand is pointing, this to me looks like it's in between two numbers, right guys? So if it's in between, do you guys remember what number it should be? The smallest set of the two or the largest set of the two? What do you think? I'll let you think, think, think. So we're always, it's always going to be the smallest out of the two. So this right here is 10, and then it's pointing at the six, so it should be 30 after, right guys? So 0, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and 30. So that's 10, 30. Go ahead and write it down if you haven't written down it, uh, if you haven't done so already, okay? All right, 1030. All right, guys, we're almost done with our lesson today. Thank you so much for watching. Just a quick reminder, if you have any questions, you can always have your parents email me, of course, and we will meet next time. Let me see. All right. That concludes our lesson for today. So I hope you guys enjoyed my video and i hope that you guys learned a lot like i said before if you guys want to just like copy i mean i'm sorry if you guys want to pause it if you need to rewind it you can watch it again 
that's that'll be good all right so i hope to see you next time well on zoom right i'll see you on zoom and make sure to continue watching your lessons all right bye thank you